Applying agricultural lime or ag lime to your farm fields is the only natural way of balancing the pH for your farm soil. The pH scale is a measurement of acidity. The pH scale is a 14 point scale. Acidic soil is measured from 0 to 6. A pH of 7 is neutral soil. Basic soil or alkaline soil is measured from 8 to 14. Soils that are closer to pH neutral are best for growing crops. In Indiana, soils naturally trend towards acidity. Applying ag lime reduces the acidity of the soil. Why is this important? First, neutral soils are alive. Hey, get a bite of this yummy potash. Let's party. Pass the nitrogen. I really love what you've done with your cilia. Microbial bacteria live within the soil. These bacteria break down fertilizers such as nitrogen, potash, and phosphate into nutrients that are then fed to root systems as your plants grow. These microbial bacteria cannot survive in acidic soils. I can't take this acid soil. <coughs> Therefore, your fertilizers lay static in the soil, useless until they're washed away or leach deeper into the soil. In fact, if you measured the bacteria in an acidic soil with a pH of 4.5, extremely acidic, and measured it against the bacteria in a neutral soil with a pH of 7, you would find 10 times more bacteria in the neutral soil. In the extremely acidic soil, tests have shown that 75% of your fertilizer is wasted. In the pH neutral field, 100% of the fertilizer is available to the plant with zero waste. If you want your fertilizer to be effective, you must have balanced soil. Second, herbicides used to control weeds work best in neutral soils. To increase your yields by eliminating weeds that steal nutrients from the soil, it makes sense to balance your pH levels. What causes farm fields to be acidic? First of all, plants require calcium and magnesium. These basic elements are alkalized for your soil. Secondly, nitrogen fertilizer causes the soil to become acidic. If nitrogen is not absorbed by the plant and the fertilizer leaches below the root level, it can pollute our groundwater, streams, and rivers. Agline helps prevent this from happening. Thirdly, decomposing plant materials also make the soil more acidic. Old stalks, stems, and roots will impact the soil as they break down over time. What is ag lime? Ag lime is produced from crushed limestone and is screened and sorted according to size. Limestone contains two important minerals used in reducing soil acidity, calcium and magnesium. Ag lime is analyzed for its calcium and magnesium levels. To determine the amount and type of ag lime to introduce to your fields, a soil sample must be taken and tested. Samples are taken by various ways by a fertilizer consultant. These samples will determine the pH in your fields and are used in making an ag lime recommendation. From there, a map will be created with a grid to determine the amount of ag lime to be applied where it is needed on your fields. Modern farming uses GPS mapping to apply the correct amount of ag lime at various intervals on your fields. When should ag lime be applied? Ag lime is applied in the fall, after the fields have been harvested prior to any tilling, or in the spring, prior to tilling and planting. It is important to keep accurate records of your ag lime usage and the dates of application. Ag lime is readily available in Indiana. The state is full of deep limestone reserves that are mined and crushed into ag lime. The Indiana Ag Lime Council is a trade association that publishes the quality of ag lime from sources across the state. You can access reports on sources and quality of ag lime at www.aglive.org.